Previously on Helmet Head. My, my, my bike's just developed a uh, noise. We've got a problem. It's making a horrible noise like it's it's hitting against it. When you put it into second gear, it makes this horrific noise. Right, if you look down there, see this piece that I'm touching here? Yeah. That's the cam chain tensioner, okay? Yeah. Now look at the very end of it there. Can you see it's a bit bird? Yeah, I can see it. And see this here? That's the second gear. That's the second gear. So after all of this and taking it apart, we've now come up with a, a massive cool plan. Basically, Lee's gonna go and order the parts. He's gonna somehow get the tools. We're gonna organize it all. But the guys that pick my monkey are going to, pick, pick my, my bike, bike pick are my going bike, yes. to bring the bike a day early because we fly in actually a day earlier than the tour that we've got on the third leg. And then what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna fix it outside the hotel and it's all gonna be done. Sorry That's to fine. interject on your video, but when he says we, he means me. This adventure is supported by Ashworth Automotive in Western Supermare, the number one garage keeping you and Helmethead on the road. Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on episode one of Leg Free Riding the World by Motorcycle. Now my beloved Honda Monkey bike called Ashworth is being at Pink My Bike in Portugal now for just under a month and I cannot wait to get back to it because this next leg is gonna be the best yet. Now Lee, also known as Nightcrawler666 on YouTube, also is of course the owner of Ashworth Automotive and has been looking after me non-stop during my adventure. The thing of it is, he built Ashworth and now I've left it at a broken state in Portugal. Lee has been working really hard, but finding the time to research, order loads of parts to fix Ashworth. The big plan of it is, is that he's gonna fly back, he's gonna bring all these parts and all the stuff that we need, basically take the side of the engine apart, change the cam chain, the, the tensioner and all this, on the side of the road, next to a busy airport. But it's all gonna work out because Lee's involved and Lee is incredible. I've gotta say how absolutely lucky I am to have Ashworth Automotive continuing to support me throughout this crazy, crazy world adventure. Lee is a genius as we know as a mechanic and I'm just really thankful. Me and him have become really, really good friends. But honestly, right now if I had a problem with one of my bikes or one of my vehicles, I know where I'd be taking it because seeing the guy work, seeing how dedicated he is to make things 100% perfect, it's inspirational. Right, so what we're going to expect after we've somehow fixed this on the side of the road, we've got a tour by Pink My Bike. We're going to be touring the north of Portugal on this series, taking in some real hidden gems, some absolute beautiful places. And hopefully I won't hash up all the stuff about it because we'll be being toured by one of their guides. So this should just get better and better and better. I can't wait to see what happens in this adventure. So let's jump on a flight, go to Portugal and make this epic adventure happen. This is gonna be so cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Portugal. Welcome to Porto. Now, quite a few things have gone a little bit terribly wrong. So the plan was that I was gonna meet Lee and Alex at the airport and uh, at Stansted and we were gonna fly out together. And obviously we've booked onto the same flight. Now, of course, I've arrived first. I've gone through security. I've sat down, I've enjoyed my beer. But for Lee arrived and then he didn't have his boarding pass and he didn't have the app downloaded and then he had problems trying to log in so then he had to queue to talk to Ryanair and eventually he paid extra to get I think a copy of his boarding pass from Ryanair so he could get free security. Then he got to security 
And then just to top it all off, the security then wanted to check his bags because he's bringing all this stuff over to try and fix Ashworth. And what's happened then, what's happened then is they've checked it and checked it and an hour or an hour and a half or something's gone by. It'll all be on his channel. It'll explain loads better than, than me on Nightcrawler 666. But an hour or an hour and a half or so has gone by. They've eventually checked his bag and then found he's got a tool roll in it and then chucked it in the bin. Then he's rushed to get to the flight to then find out the flight has already gone. So that's kind of left Lee and Alex stuck in Stansted. Now they've gone back, they've managed to book and sort out another flight. And just as I spoke to him on the phone, he's just literally boarding. So he's two and a half, three hours behind me currently. And then to top all that off, the plan was to have hopefully Ashworth here when we arrive. So Lee was originally going to work on it. Ashworth's not here yet and I have no idea what or sort of any idea really of what time Ashworth is even going to arrive so we don't even know how this is all going to work because we've got to try and fix Ashworth <laughs> outside this massive airport on the side of the road potentially now with no tools yeah I don't know but we'll figure it all out because everything works out in the end but ladies and gentlemen I've made it at least <laughs> to what to be quite fair it's a beautiful airport with the little waterfall thing going on down there and the tower behind me and yeah it's good anyway two and a half three hours I think I'm just gonna have to have another beer and I another beer and chill but Lee will be here in a minute well for you guys in a minute and then we'll be able to get on with hopefully figuring out what we're gonna do next Friends have um, have missed their flight, so they're flying in late later. So I've got three, four hours now to waste until they, uh, yeah, until they arrive. So I've jumped to the taxi and I just pointed at Google Maps and went beach, nice beach, and he went beach, and I went yeah beach, and okay, um, so I'm here, um, Porto nearest beach to the airport i have no idea what it's called i just pointed and went beach but yeah there we go right let's explore let's find it's only i think it's 11 in the morning at the minute but i'll try and find a beer in a minute it's got a beer in you now i'm here and uh let's just check out this beach oh baby i love your madness it's so incredibly beautiful Well, I've kind of chilled, I've had a beer, I've had an ice cream, and I've had a lot of fun at the beach. What's just happened, what's really nice, I just had a phone call from the Pink My Bike guys, and they're on their way with the bikes, it's really cool, and he saw the post up on uh, on my Facebook page, and they've just rang and said, do you want picking up? Saves me having to get a taxi ride back. Lee and Alex, as far as I know at the moment, are flying over the sea behind us and coming in. Um, so hopefully they'll be here in roughly an hour. So if I'm lucky, everything will sort of tie in. The bikes will arrive, they'll land, get Lee a beer, get Alex a beer, and then of course what we'll do is we will start work on Ashworth and get it done. And then Senior Lord Head should then land as well, and we can go and get some dinner, and it'll be a great day. That's kind of my plan. But obviously I'm here slaving away on the beach. Um, this is hard work, and don't tell anyone that it's not. I'm gonna go get another beer. I think I've got about an hour to two hours anyway until the Pink My Bike guys actually get here. Um, time for another beer in it but we're getting there aren't we it's all good look at that beach look at that view i mean just look now i think if i get too close the water splashes up and it absolutely soaks you but but let me just have a quick look hopefully i won't destroy this camera by doing this let me just show you what i can see really quickly check out this this is quite cool
anyway, like I said, slaving away. So I'm going to go and grab myself a beer and then we'll hopefully, this is all going to come together. Ashworth's going to be fixed. The bikes are going to be here. Everyone's going to arrive and we can start the next proper leg of this adventure, properly back on the bikes touring. It's going to be epic. Well, I've had a stressful day. As we all know, I've had a few drinks now, some ice cream, waiting for obviously Lee. It's had a very easy day and Alex to turn up. But finally, I was chilling out, having a beer. Finally, they have both arrived. I mean, you've had an easy day, really. We, we've had an easy day. Nothing's gone wrong at all. Um, obviously, your viewers won't have heard the saga, but um, yeah, basically, we got to check in at Ryanair um, and it all went horribly wrong. And the short version is, um, we paid another £55 per ticket to get on the plane um, and then they wanted to check my bag and they spent nearly two hours checking my bag so therefore they made us late for the flight. Uh, we missed said flight and had to just go like this basically. Mm, mm, mm. That's all we did, just hemorrhaged money from the minute we got to Stansted Airport. Have it! Like that, so we had to buy another ticket, another flight, and get on an uh, another flight, which was delayed, and it's Do you not hideous. Want to the thing of it is, he won't tell the truth, because what really happened was, he put the exhaust that Alex has got. By the yeah, way, Alex, Alex, you have seen him before, but you'll see him more as we go around. But he's got the exhaust strapped to the back of his bag, but he didn't have that originally there, because what happened was, Lee shoved it down his pants, and they, they thought say any of this. he was packing heat. They thought yeah. he had a gun, and he got arrested, yeah. but it all worked out in the end, and they've managed to arrive. Well, I got arrested, that's slightly different, because what happened, I had a Zippo lighter. <laughs> I filled the Zippo lighter up with fuel, literally just before we were going to check in, I went to light a fag, and where I spilt the, the fuel on my arm, I lit it, and it lit me arm. So I'm waving my arm in check-in like this with my arm on fire and I got arrested um, for having a firearm. Well, right now, what we're going to do, we're going to head back to the bikes. There's little kids kicking around a bottle because that's yeah, all they've got in Portugal. Going. But either way, we're going to go back now. We are going to fix the bike. I'm going to do all the hard work. Well, me and Alex are going to do all yeah, the hard work. Yeah. Lee's going to stand and Lee basically watch. watches. I'm going to drink some more alcohol, non-alcoholic yeah. beer. Yeah, well, that's what me and Alex are going to do. We're going to go drink beer, Lee's going to fix the bike. Let's get this done. We have arrived back at the hotel, and when we arrived, the Pink My Bike Boys were already there, but they're staying in a different hotel. So it's a bit of a coincidence we're in the same place at the same time. And they also had the President of Portugal with them as well, who's officially invited us to his palace tomorrow to show us he's a, a monkey bike enthusiast, and he's gonna show us all of his monkey bikes tomorrow. So we're gonna go around there for tea tomorrow. But right now, the important thing, the big thing is, got to fix Ashworth so they've got lots of tools and stuff and the hotel they're staying in we've got sort of underground parking so this is the moment where we hope the pink my bike boys have bought all the tools that we need they've got the oil Lee's got all the parts he's managed to get the puller through security the Tenshi exhaust has been fixed that also is ready to go back on we've just got to make it all happen so let's go deep down into this garage underground and make magic happen hopefully, and get Ashworth back on the road. Also, Senior Lord Head, because today's strikes all over France do with the airports, is running a bit late. So hopefully we can get some of this done, then I'll go and grab him and come back. It's all complicated, but it'll all work. So let's go down, let's see Lee do his magic and fix Ashworth. That's what's gonna happen. So Lee, yeah, we've uh, come down to the garage. Yeah, we've. You've had your tools taken off you at the airport, and Pink My Bike guys have brought us some tools and uh, impact wrench. Yeah, but have we mentioned that on your? No, not yet. So we've got a little bit of a uh, dilemma because the impact wrench 
you know, basically, if you if you want to pan round here for the viewers, so I can show you what the situation is. Basically, this flywheel nut here we need to undo with an impact gun, okay? 17 mil nut, right? And that's what holds the flywheel on. So you need an impact gun to buzz it off, right? So obviously they're, they're doing their best and they're not like mechanically minded people really. So they've, they've brought one of these, which is an impact driver, I believe this is called. This is for more, um, you know, DIY at home, putting a shed together kind of deal. It's not the sort of thing that will do that. And even if it did have enough torque, it hasn't got the right adapters to put a socket on the end of it. So that's not going to work. Um, so I'm sort of come up to a hurdle and belly flopped over it and caught my genitalia on said hurdle as I've fallen over the hurdle at the moment. But I'm hoping that I'll get back up and come up with a plan F, basically. Or Z. Or, Zed, yeah. or just drink more beer. We could drink more beer, but... It gets easier with beer. It'll be all the right. The problem is you can't hold this. I mean, there is, a, there is a special tool that does hold that, but you still buzz it off with a gun. It'll be all right. We'll figure it out. We'll work it out. We'll work it we out. We always work it out. But the best bit is you've started, I've and started. we're back with Ashworth. So at least we're halfway there. Yeah, indeed. Right. The problem is... Bless you both, and in such an early stage in our relationship, I'm already in love with you both, right? But, having said that, um, this is an impact driver, not an impact gun, and even if it had the torque to undo a tight nut like that, it hasn't got an attachment to put a socket on there. I got to Yeah, I got the attachment. Have you? I yeah. Have you? Yes. Where? In the bed. In the van. Okay. No, in there. Oh. Where are they? Oh. Don't eat the van. 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 I'm sorry. I'm speaking in Portuguese. That's fine. We're faster. He's saying that I'm sexy and you want to touch me, but it's a bit weird. But um, you've got a tool. The or tool. not? The tool. Have you got the tool? I got the tool. <laughs> you've got the tool. Where, where, where do we think this is? It's not the van. No. You mean like a, a half inch adapter? Three eighths. Got it. And, yeah. a, and a quarter inch in there. Half inch. Okay. In the van. Very impressive. Okay. I'll be very impressed if you turn up here in a minute with a three eighth adapter for this. We will kiss each other. I'm pretty sure it's left hand for us. No, I'm not doing it. No. Okay, back to plan W. So I'm squinting because the sun is really low and in my eyes, but Pink My Bike guys are trying to find an impact wrench so we can fix the bike because it's not happening without one. It's almost seven o'clock at night here um, in Portugal right now. It makes it more and more difficult. So they're ringing around absolutely everywhere. They've got the president of Portugal involved. <laughs> so he's ringing around everywhere. So we don't know what's going on exactly. But the good news, the good news is, senior Lord Head that's joining us on this adventure, my dad, has just landed from France to here. So I'm walking out and out of breath and out of puff because it's many miles and many miles. But basically, I am going to meet senior Lord Head and we're gonna go back, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can get this sorted. The other option is potentially we end up having to take the bike to a garage tomorrow because it's an actual holiday day today here so we take it to a garage tomorrow and we either pay them to use their tools or pay them to do that part of the job i don't know um we're figuring it out either way it's going to happen i'm sure let's just go and get senior lord head let's get him back to the monkey So, Dad, 
Are you ready for an 11 out of 10 adventure like no other? It's been 12 out of 10 so far, nor is it unlucky for some 13. <laughs> well, with what we've got, right? We've got Lee and Alex have had to pay for two flights because Lee put an exhaust down near his willy and they got in trouble. He got a tools, I thought it was. <laughs> then he had his tools taken away. As well. As well. And then on top of that, um, then we've gone to the beach and had lots of beer and pet food. Then the bikes have arrived and then we have got tools to fix a bike, but then we're missing an impact wrench. <laughs> so we can't take off part of the bike to be able to fix it. And at the moment, I've left it in bits in the basement of a hotel that we're not staying in. That's nice of them. <laughs> so they collect bikes? Well, they've delivered it. But either way, welcome to Portugal. How pretty is that? Can't Good start, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're gonna get the old man, the old man, we're gonna get his bag dropped off and we're gonna go and keep trying Who's to find out what's man? going on. You. Oh. <laughs> right, to the hotel. Oh, Mum. <laughs> right, since I've been gone, there is some news, so I'm gonna let Pedro explain what's going on. So, um, president, I guess. President of this, Portugal. Yeah, president that was just here. A word came through that, you know, was in need of help, so he was able to reach out, got on the dealership, apparently, heard about it. So, yeah, I think they're going to sort you out. So, Honda dealership's going to lend us. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. I don't know, like, the full details. Can we just make it up? So, the president... <laughs> Flew in on a helicopter, made a call, and arranged for a Honda dealership to lend us a thousand pound drill to fix the bike. Yeah, like an impact uh, thing. So. All because the president loves the channel. Yeah, I guess he does now. Yeah, you see, no, he does love you. He does, he, he yeah, keeps trying to kiss me, it's nice. <laughs> Cuddly as well. Cool, so we might still get it done. Might. Fingers crossed. The guy that's in the, the monkey bike club, the Honda guy written there with a Honda t-shirt yes I can't remember his name but awesome guy well he's reached out to his mate that just so happens to own it I think he owns the Honda dealership he's the main man right so we've gone there to borrow the tools that we needed he's lent me all the tools I had them all in my hands um, and then he actually was like getting inquisitive of what we're actually doing told him what's happened and he said i think obviously there's translation issues i think he's saying that's not that it's the it's the transmission and i'm saying yeah but the, the timing chain tensioner is touching second gear and he's like no and i'm saying yeah it is and he said no it's not that it wouldn't do that so i'm explaining it all and he basically doesn't believe me i think so I've had to accept his really awesome offer because he can't do it any t any other time. Today's a bank holiday. He's just ridden six hundred and something kilometres wow. from some racing somewhere. There's a load of them there. There's about seven of them all turned up on bikes. But if we get it now, he'll look at it now. Okay. So yes, let's go. We've had no sleep for I think it's forty-eight hours. Now. Is it forty-eight yeah. hours now? Um, it's a bit small now, isn't it? Oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, so we've taken it there now so that he can have a look and then we go from there. So fingers crossed. I mean... At least you then you've got all the tools. I've got all the tools, he's got all the knowledge. He doesn't believe what I'm saying. He's going, no, that, that tension is not going to touch second gear. I said, well, well it is, if that is second gear. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to bung it together a little bit, we'll put it in the van, we'll take it to him, let's see what he says. Take it to man I'm hoping, in Hondo. part of me's hoping that he goes, well, bloody hell, you're right. You're hopefully, because we've got but, the bits, so we can get it done. He might go, ah, it's not actually that, it's this. And that's why that arm's touching the gear. But right. anyway, whatever. Let's just get it there, let's get it, let's get it sorted. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky. The 
guide that was on the end of there has completely has gone, it's disappeared, disintegrated, and the chainlet has worn the actual metal away. And that bit there on the end, that's where it was hitting the gear. And that's all the metal we've got in there, all the yeah. shards. Yeah. Okay, so this Honda garage is Bim Vindo. It's the basically the bike Honda garage in Porto. They are fixing it. It's all going to coin to pan. It's about midnight at this point and <laughs> none of us have actually slept. Well, in two days, it's working out being in regards to the flight time that we had to get up and go and everything else anyway. The current plan is... I'm going to ride the bike back. I haven't got any gloves. <laughs> I'm going to borrow the helmet off, pink my bike and the van because that van needs to be back. So they're going to have to go. Um, so I'm going to borrow the helmet and ride back to the airport. It's all going to be fine, but Ashworth should be fixed. Now my battery is dying. Um, so I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to film, but it's been a day. It's been an incredible day because it's start to finish. It's been nuts, but Ashworth should be good hopefully for tomorrow hopefully just before my battery dies it's done it's back on the road it's working <laughs> it's working it's silly o'clock in the morning but it's working